Hi, so I want to now talk to you about painting our artwork, okay? So what we need to learn is which parts we paint first. Some people get it in their heads that they need to do the outlines all first. If you paint the outlines and you do them very neatly, then you have to paint all in the inside very, 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 very neatly. And it's time consuming and it takes more time. So the best thing to do is actually to paint all of our backgrounds, so paint our areas first. If our outline here is going to be a black outline, we can sort of paint up into here a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit over. You try and go over a little bit because afterwards we'll do an outline to tidy it all up. Same with the letters. We're going to paint the letter colour first and we can go right up to the edge. And when it's dry, we're going to tidy it up with an outline first. So we do all of our background. So I'm going to show you how to start off with the B. Okay. So remember we're opening our paint upwards like this. We are just putting out a small amount of colour. Okay. Putting the lid on tightly and putting it back. Okay. We don't need to have a lot of colour. I'm going to use a middle size paintbrush. All right. So I'm going to try and neatly paint. Okay, so look, when I'm trying to do straight lines, I'm trying to paint nice and neatly up to the edges. Remember, his artwork is very flat and neat and controlled. Don't try and use too much paint because the more paint that you have on, the harder it is to control. Right. Remember, you can keep turning your artwork around. And maybe a good idea, what I should have done beforehand was just rub out some of the lines that were a little bit messy because the red paint and also the yellow paint, they're quite see-through. Uh, we've got two red paints in class. One is an orangey color, this color, and the other one is a little bit more pinker. If you mix both of them together, that's really, really good um, because it makes it a little bit less see-through. Um, but obviously, uh, the yellow, it's good to add a little bit of white to your yellow. Just a small amount can make it less see-through. But if we add white to our red, it's going to go pink. So look, I've painted a nice, thin coat of paint. That's the most important thing is, we don't paint on it big and thick like this to cover it because when we do that it dries all lumpy it doesn't look very nice it becomes sticky and um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to paint thin layers or coats of paint so I would go and dry that with a hair dryer or let it dry and then I would go and paint the second layer of paint on top of it and then you might need two or three layers of paint to get it to so that it's not transparent anymore, right?